Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a bit of a different vlog for you today. Me and my roommate and also my best friend, Grace, are going to, hopefully going to, should I say, Zanzibar. Um, one good thing about being cabin crew is that you do get heavily discounted flights. Those flights are standby, however. We're flying with our sister airline, um, Fly Dubai, and it's a nice five and a half hours uh, down south to Tanzania, which is where the island of Zanzibar is. Um, I've never been before, I'm really, really excited. We both managed to get four days off. We were just randomly rostered them together, which is just kind of a bit unheard of, really. So it's really nice that we're able to go somewhere. We researched a lot into different places that we could go to. Um, there were quite a few places on our list. With our different schedules, the flight times, and we have to stay within a two hour time difference of Dubai for Grace's next duty, uh, Zanzibar actually seemed like the perfect option. Fingers crossed we make it on the flight and I will spend the next three nights in Zanzibar. yesterday and um, it was dark when we arrived we landed about 4 30 and by the time we drove all the way up to the hotel in the north and um, the sun had gone down so i can't wait to explore today and see what zanzibar is like the hotel is so amazing we've got our own little kind of villa on the beach and the water that i can see right now is so blue so we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then start our first day here in zanzibar <laughs> So this is mouth and legs. Oh my god! So they're eating soft sand wow. and the green sea with this one. That's what they eat. Oh, he's yes. eating now. Yeah. So in up, his lunch. Like, up like toilet, you know. To <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So sometimes you can see red one, yeah. blue, yellow, green. So that island has many colors. spent our day sat by the pool at the beach and it's been a bit cloudy not the best weather but not the worst the rain has held off to say it's not peak season 
Um, the pool, which you can just see behind, is lovely. The temperature is perfect. But the sea right now is a little bit choppy. So we're gonna go and get ready for some dinner and then go to um, an African party. African, African beach party. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like, but we're gonna give it a go. Grace, what did you think of the first day in Zanzibar? I loved it. So much nature. <laughs> So this morning we're up really bright and early, we're gonna go snorkeling, we've got a snorkel trip booked which I'm really really excited for, um, apparently snorkeling in Zanzibar is just unbelievable, like all the fish, you're meant to be able to see turtles and dolphins, um, I've seen turtles before um, when I've been snorkeling but definitely not dolphins so I'm really hoping that we can you know, get that done and see them and um, yeah we get some snacks and refreshments on board, I think they might be lunch, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we go to two different snorkel sites. We're going on like a maybe 45 minute journey, like away from Zanzibar Island to, I want to say Manumba, Manembe. I'm not sure, I can't really remember how it's pronounced, but that's where we're going. So yeah, let's see how this turns out today. We're gonna make the flight, Grace. Yes. We'll get a seat. Yeah, it's like 15. I'm expecting a row. Zanzibar we had the most unbelievable trip the only downside that I would say we had was that the trip was just not long enough unfortunately we did only have four days off and we have to get back to Dubai a certain time uh, before our next duty um, to be legally rested to operate the flight and Grace was flying earlier than me so we did have a bit of a shorter trip um, but we did get three nights there which was amazing the beaches are beautiful the snorkeling is really fun the people are so friendly a few other things to bear in mind about Zanzibar is that um, you do have to pay $50 US dollars that is a visa on arrival um, taxis are really quite expensive we spent a fortune getting all the way in the north to Nungui which is where we stayed it's about an hour and 40 minute drive from the airport uh, we paid $80 there and $50 back, which is a lot of money. So try and organize with your hotel um, transfers because we found that that was the cheapest option. And as well, when you do pay for the hotel at the end of your stay, there are a few hidden charges that we were not expecting. Other than that, the food is so cheap. You're talking maybe three US dollars for like a, a large bottle of beer. Um, eight to ten dollars for um, a big plate of pasta rice curry whatever 
Um, the food is really good. There is an abundance of seafood there, uh, being so close to the sea, obviously. Um, but yeah, really, really recommend. And without a doubt, I will be going back to Zanzibar at some point in my life. There's lots to see, and there's definitely more places that I want to explore in Zanzibar. So. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog. This is a bit different from a layover, um, but I really wanted to show Zanzibar off as best as I could. So stay posted for the next one. Thanks, bye.